Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, we'll be talking about the PySpy code, and we will be seeing how can we how can we create a schema dynamically. Okay, so before the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. Here, I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python, PySpark, and so on. So, if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So, let's get started for today's video. So, if I go back to my uh, database addition, so if you can see here, I we have like kind of some files, okay, which I am trying to read it using the simple code is spark dot read dot option in first schema two, option header two, and that's it, okay. So here, if I do a print schema. okay so you can see over here that you know we have this kind of uh we have this kind of uh, schema present over here right a time string crs r time integer and so on right now you have done this thing is like you know you like sometimes you need to create a schema with the help of a struct type and a struct field Correct, and there you need to pass some, you know, uh, the schema of it, like you know, year, month, date, all the columns you are you required to pass it over here based on the based on this uh, data. And then you might be you have to create some kind of table or you know something like that you have to do. So, what, how would you you know create a dynamic schema? So in that what we can do see what we can do is that is that uh, here i will you know i will write this df dot d types and i'll try to this print this list now you can see we have this year like you know what does this do is df dot d types returns a column name and corresponding corresponding the data type you can see month integer day of month integer and so on right so our task is to create i mean to convert this thing into into this way how would we do that so just give a proper name let's say uh let's say list of list of uh, schema something like that okay and try to print here fine now what i will do i will create one another list let's say field and here i will call this for i in list of schema Okay, and then here I write fields dot append metadata empty and here I will write name. So here name I will pass what I will pass first parameter, you know, like I will pass only column names. So I'll pass here zero index, fine. And then we have, we have, uh, we have this field, right, in a label. So whether it is true or no, so I have to make this true for all. Okay. And then at last, I'll have, I'll create one, one more column, like right? type, and the value would be i comma, one so i'll pass over there you know what type i need it that's cool so if i do a print of fields okay schema is not defined list schema spelling is different so let me put it over here now try to run it yeah so if i remove this print now you will see we have this metadata name 
year null able to type int likewise we have this column name month null able to type int and so on okay fine now what we will do we will we will write a struct type dot from json and here i will pass fields fields i will pass my list okay fields and then in types in types i will pass here struct okay that's perfect and try to store this into let's say a uh, final schema and try to print this final schema type is not defined perfect so what we will do we will write here pi spark I spark dot sql dot dot types import star not a star try to import only one value oh okay so the here here the issue comes is that could not pass data type integer because in pi spark this int is not you know uh, not allowed so we have to convert this int into integer so here what i will do i will try to update my my list so i will write here len of list of schema and i will go i will iterate this till the till the length of the you know the length of the schema, uh, length of the list and here i will make one condition is that uh list of schema list of schema of i of one because you know uh, like we have a tuple in that right so if in first index we got a, we got int so try to then what what you will do you will update this list of schema at that index okay i is equal to tuple and tuple I will write i i zero okay and then corresponding to that write integer so where, wherever the integer int comes we, we are replacing with the integer now try to run this now if you can see here we have this struct type list okay we have this everything over here now what we would do is that try to try to let's say i'm i'm reading it again just you know just for the use case i'm uh, i'm telling you so remove this option schema not a schema uh, option schema comma final schema and here display so, so schema is not defined perfect you can see here year month day of like everything seems correct right now if i if i if i print this uh, you know this print schema okay everything is coming okay so uh, here i'll have to i'll have to pass in first schema option so option
now if I try to run this df dot print schema again it is coming all string infa schema spelling is wrong schema and if I do this again now you will now you can see we have this in the correct format okay so this is the way like this is a small uh, what we can say like a small way i mean a small way or different way to to create your schema dynamically okay you do not need to you know you, you do not need to write it down again and again like creating a, this schema kind of thing so based on your raw table you can you can you can you know get your schema in the with the help of this code and then you know you can do whatever you want to do so that's it for today's video i hope you have understood this concept and if you have any comments or any any doubts you can you can ask me in the comment section or in the over the linkedin also you can ask me and uh, yeah thank you bye bye